OK, so it says find all the real zeros. And I know the rational and zero test. And I'm sorry. I love making videos, and I love helping you out. But there's no way I'm doing the rational and zero test um, for 625. I don't want to find all the factors and write that out. It's just it's not going to be fun. Um, so what I have is f of x equals x to the fourth minus 625. So first of all, I could graph that, right? See what the graph are, see what the zeros, and get an idea. Then whatever the zeros are, use synthetic division to uh, verify. Um, but still, even that's just, that's just effort even to do that. Um, and then I could do the rational zeros, see which ones works, and blah, 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 blah. Remember, factoring always works when it's factorable. Kind of weird statement there. But always look to see if you can factor something. And you know, remember, guys, we're so used to when we first you know, factor, a lot of times we look at trinomials. And that's what we kind of distinguish as factoring is always dealing with trinomials. However, a lot of times we forget when we have two terms is the difference of two squares. And we have four terms, which is the factor by grouping. So those are what you want to look for when you see you know, two or four terms. So here, can I rewrite this as a product of two um, or difference of two squares? And yes. Is x to the fourth a squared number? You bet it is. It's, it can be rewritten as x squared squared. And can 625 be rewritten as a square number? You betcha that can be rewritten as 25 squared. So remember, the difference of squares tells us if a squared minus b squared, then you have a minus b times a plus b. So I can rewrite this as x squared minus 25 um, times x squared minus 25 times x squared plus 25. So if I want to find the zeros, then I set this equal to 0 using zero product property. Now I can say x squared minus 25 equals 0 and x squared plus 25 equals 0. Now to find the zeros, I'm just going to solve. So I add 25. So I get x squared equals 25, square root, square root. x equals plus or minus 5. Um, yep, x squared equals plus or minus 5. Subtract 25 here. That's not a 25. Subtract 25, I get x squared equals negative 25. Square root, square root. x equals plus or minus 5i. So there you go for this problem. Uh, you can see my zeros are going to be plus or minus 5 and plus or minus 5i. So there you go, guys. Don't ever forget to factor or look into factoring a problem. It's always a helpful hint. Uh, to be a work with. So there's a problem. I hope you enjoyed. I hope it helped you out. Let me know if you have any uh, questions or comments. Thanks.